top five quests in WoW. Now with this list, I tried to keep it to single quests and not entire quest chains, because WoW has quite a few really good quest chains. I'll probably make a different video for quest chains in the future, but for now it's just five single quests that are great for one reason or another. So to start off this top five list, I'll give you the Lady's Necklace quest. Now, a little backstory behind this quest. You see, Sylvanas has two other sisters, Illyria, who went through the Dark Portal and never came back, and Verisa, best known for being Ronan's wife. This necklace was given to Sylvanas by her sister Illyria. It had originally been part of a single necklace that Illyria had received from their parents, but had melted it down to three just before leaving through the Dark Portal. She kept the emerald, Verisa got the ruby, and Sylvanas got the sapphire. During the War Crimes novel, Verusa meets up with Sylvanas and they show each other the necklaces, and she mentions that an adventurer found it for her, solidifying it as canon. Now on to the quest itself. The quest starts when you loot the necklace off a fallen ranger in the Ghostlands. You see, Sylvanas had the necklace on her when she died, but as her body was thrown into a meat pile, she kind of lost it. When you come and bring it back to an undercity, in a rare moment of emotion, Sylvanas will sing a song for you. After the song is over, you can speak to Ambassador Sun Sorrow to get a book with the song lyrics. In the Hillsbrad Foothills, there is a quest called Plants vs. Ghouls. This is a reference to the game Plants vs. Zombies. In the quest, you just play a wild version of Plants vs. Zombies and get a cool little pet when you finish it. Plants it becomes a daily, so you can play it as much as you want. It's just a really fun quest, and I would love to Blizzard add a more minigame quest like this in the future. With this quest, you become a quest giver and give out three quests to three players. The first one is a new player who has no idea what he's doing and runs into the opposite direction you tell him. The second guy is a max level character decked out in full raid gear who likes to do easy quests. And the third guy comes in on a celestial steed, decked out in full heirlooms and asks for the most difficult quests. Then, after he takes off, he threatens to complain on the forums if the quest isn't hard enough. The quest itself is really easy and extremely dialogue heavy, but it's a pretty self-aware quest that makes fun of itself and different WoW players, and is definitely worth a try. This quest, Ungoro Crater, is another pretty funny one, and I suggest you pick it up. Basically, you talk to this guy named Maximilian of Northshire, and he turns into a squire. He has you go around and kill dinosaurs, which he calls dragons, because the dude is super delusional. The damsels were made to be saved quest is one of the four he gives you, and what you do is go around to the three damsels while he saves them. The first one is a male blood elf that he thinks is a girl who lost her purse in the lake, and he tells you to go fetch it for her. The second damsel is standing next to a cliff, and he goes up to her and tells her that he'll save her. The girl just stares at him confused as he throws her off and tells you to catch her. Obviously you aren't able to catch her and he blames you for her misfortune. In the last one, he walks up to this female goblin and kills her pet parrot because he thinks it's a phoenix in disguise trying to attack her. When the bird doesn't come back to life, he takes that as a bad omen. The other two quests he has you do are pretty great as well. One has him pray to water fairies while they beat on you and he wonders why you made the fairy so angry. The water fairies of course are just steam elementals. The last one, he takes you on a quest to kill a big dragon, and he just runs away while you throw rocks at it. Alright, now it's time for the number one quest in WoW, the Battle for Undercity. This quest is no longer in the game, but at the time, you would go into an instance version of Undercity and fight a whole bunch of shit. Now this quest was the greatest back in the day because it was the first time WoW put you right in the middle of a major lore event. Now, I was lucky enough to be able to do this quest before it was removed, but I don't have any footage from the time, so instead I'm just going to explain the lore behind it. The Alliance, led by Bolvar, arrives at the Wrathgate alongside the Horde. Sylvanas shows up with her new plague to unleash on the Scourge. Varimithius and the Grand Apothecary Putris betray the Horde Alliance and lead a rebellion. Chaos ensues, Bolvar and Sourfang both die in battle. Alexstrasza does her best to clean up everything and sends you to deliver the bad news to either Thrall or Varian. Here's where it splits off based on faction. Horde. Thrall receives word from you and Sylvanas who managed to escape with her life. Jaina shows up and asks for an explanation. Thrall tells her it wasn't the Horde's doing but a coup. She returns to Varian. Alliance. Varian receives word of Bolvar's death and is very saddened, but the words of the Dragon Queen remind him that not all is lost. You and Jaina seek a council with the War Chief. You learn the Horde has lost Undercity and Varian prepares for war. Horde. You arrive at Undercity with Thrall, Sylvanas, and the Corcoran and are ready for battle. Sylvanas leads the way into the Royal Chamber. Alliance. You speak to Brawl, Bear Mantle, and Varian leads you on his own attack from the sewers. Horde. You meet Varimithius's little pawns and Thrall and Sylvanas take them out. They meet Varimithius himself and, after some dialogue, kill him. Varimithius' master is very disappointed. We don't know who it is, but we assume it's killed Jaden. Thrall and Sylvanas celebrate the retaken of Undercity. Alliance, you meet Putris' pawns and you take them out as well as you progress, you can tell the Horde has been here. And you finally kill Putris himself. Then Varian hears Thrall's cheering. 
Varen encounters Thrall in the throne room. He insults the Horde and blames him for his enslavement and the killing of Bolvar. He charges at Thrall. Jaina, who stayed behind when Varian went to attack Thrall, shows up and teleports the members of the Alliance away. Thrall mourns his losses with Sourfang. Back in Stormwind, the king is met with new resolve. He thanks you and tells you to return the Northrend and to conquer it for the Alliance. And that's it. You then see Sourfang Jr. again as the fourth boss in ICC and Bolvar hanging over the Lich King's throne. Then, when you kill the Lich King, Bolvar takes up the mantle and becomes the new Lich King. Alright, and that's it for the top 5 quests. There are a couple of other really good ones out there, but I just like these ones the best.